Hello there everybody, my name is Nathan and welcome back to the SYG official and the Parang collab series and today's special guest is none other than Steven! Yeah! So Steven would like to introduce yourself to the friendly people at home. Hi, my name is Steven. I am a member of Parang and that's my day. <laughs> yeah. Um, another fun fact about Steven is that Steven is actually um, Parang's cameraman. Um, and he's also, well, what Karen likes to dub as our personal trainer. And because of that today, because Steven is a handsome, muscular man, um, today we are going to be doing a workout Q&A. So you guys get to see both him and I do a workout regimen that Steven has so kindly put together for the both of us. And at the same time, we are going to be answering the questions that you guys sent in on the community tab on YouTube and on Instagram. So um, Steven, are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Change up. Change up, change up, change up. All right, so while I pull up the first question, um, would you like to explain to the people what exactly the exercises that we're going to be doing today are? Uh, mostly we're going to be doing like endurance exercises. So like, for example, we're going to be doing some wall sits, we're going to be doing some plank. We also have some uh, barbells to help us like um, work out a little bit. Sweet. And also, we're go since we're going to be doing questions and answering, mm -hmm. we're not going to try to do it by count because that'll be like really hard to count and ask questions at the same time. Right, right. So depending on how quickly we answer them, we can finish that set. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, that's kind of like a bad thing for me because I like to stretch out my responses. <laughs> um, so I hope I don't die today, but we got this. All right, let's do it. Y'all are in for a treat. Y'all are watching two Asian men working out for you today. <laughs> and I'm going to do my best to not die. Yeah, hopefully you'll survive this. I, I sure <laughs> hope so. Start in one, two, three. Okay. okay, so our first question comes from Min Onion Gi, and he slash she asks, How do you have motivation and how did you start to work out? I'm so lazy, lol. <laughs> <laughs> I started my workout, um, I actually started working out when I took my martial arts class, actually. Oh. Um, I was taking like a beginner's wushu class, it's just like a Chinese acrobatic martial arts class. Uh -huh. And the problem was, I was taking it with little kids. Oh. They were like, like less than 10 years old or, or so, like around 10 years old. Uh -huh. They were all doing stretches and working out and they were doing splits, they were doing handstands. I, I was so embarrassed because I was like twice or three times their age. Oh, dang. Wait, how old were you at that time? I was like in my uh, mid-20s or so. Mm -hmm. So I was really, really embarrassed because they can do things that I couldn't. God dang. And it's because of them that it motivated me to get to um, to start working out more. Mm. So I can just like be able to keep up with them. Wow, that's pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah, and what started off as sort of like a, a habit, it, it became like like a, like a daily routine. I started doing it every single day just so I could like keep up with them. Dang. <laughs> I think for me, my motivation was just to like, one, lose weight and to just like be a healthier me. But like, I never really like actively pursued that. So like I just went to start working out because like I wanted to like put like what I read in the textbooks to practice and everything. And plus it just looked fun. Okay. Yeah, nice. We both have different reasons. Yeah. Okay. My thighs are burning so <laughs> bad. Ready <laughs> John? Yeah. Three, One, two, two go. Ugh. Ah <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm feeling like a, a big fire like right here. <laughs> A really good workout for your thighs. Okay, I'm worried to have thighs of thunder, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> shake it off, yeah, shake it off, just shake it off, shake it off, and keep breathing. Just like get, get the get the jiggles out, y'all. Ready to go for the second set? Yep. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, this next question comes from Pyo Green, and he slash she asks, Do y'all work out on a full or an empty stomach? Is there anything specific you can ask? For me, it depends on how hungry I was because I don't want to work out on an empty stomach. Last time I did that, I worked out on just a banana, uh -huh. and I passed out. Ooh. Um, we were doing like sort of like a like those football workout where you push those um oh the big cart yeah those for, like the wheels yeah exactly we did that and I was so out of it I had to like lay down because the room was spinning Ooh. I was like I couldn't breathe and I didn't have like a like any energy so 
and I was just working off like just a banana because all, all banana was all I had the whole day. Eat something that like um, that uh, that just enough to fill you, but don't like uh, not on a full meal. So okay, so sorry, I'm thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I'll sing with you. There you go. <sighs> if you do work out, I suggest you work out on like. Like something small, like a small portion meal. Okay. Nothing too fatty though, because that would just like um it would weigh you down. Yeah, it would weigh you down and you'd be having like you have to like work twice as much just to burn it off. Mm -hmm. Do you like um have any like um specific food recommendations? To be honest, no. That's another thing. I do not go on a diet at all. Okay. I do not go any diet. I only take diets if I'm like um if I want to like really, really want to lose any unnecessary fat. And all my meals are like I can eat whatever I want, just in small portions. Say like I eat like a medium bowl, I just go with a small bowl. Got it. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way because like I absolutely suck at keeping a diet. Mm -hmm. So like I pretty much just eat whatever I want and just like do my best to work it all off right after. I mean not like right after, but just like in the future. Okay. All right, that's what the second one one the next one? Yep. Alright. Alright, next one we're gonna be planking. Planking? Alright, so I have to set the camera down then uh Alright, sweet. God, I feel like one going to uh, like those uh, sleepover girls. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, tell me how you feel. I know. <laughs> so let's start in three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, so this next question comes from Dancing Lover 913 or Selena Chen, and she asks, What if you two swap bodies for a day? Please explore this hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> Selena! <laughs> what would you do if you were a 5'2 Filipino boy who's Arm muscles are bigger than his leg muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I would, um, well, based based on like your fan base, I would check out like, all the fans and like all the like all your followers and things like that because uh, that would be like that'd be crazy. I mean, so many people like know know who you are. <laughs> yeah, they're the best, honestly. Love you, Silent, and love you guys so much. <laughs> oh, man, if I were if I were a tall, handsome, muscular man such as Stephen, man, what would I do? I would go on a run. I will go to the gym and see how my body performs, test my capacity, and yeah. <sighs> Life as Steven Quinn, I wonder how that would be like. <laughs> I would also love to know how to know every single choreo for every single K-pop dance. Because oh, every, time, <laughs> every time we do a random dance, you're always the first one in line. And in front of the camera, dancing to every single dance. It is yeah. not what it is. I was born for random dances, y'all. <laughs> I was born for those parties. Uh, Thank you for this, man. <sighs> <laughs> Funny thing is actually Selena, um, she put in like a lot of questions. Oh, okay. So I think like these next few ones are going to be from her. Oh, okay. Nice. Hang on. Just a little bit. <sighs> Why are my eyes burning? What the heck? <laughs> what happened to me? Blood is like basically rushing, your adrenaline is pumping. But it's just this eye. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't pump a blood vessel. Be careful not to do that. I hope not. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, so this next one comes from the same person, and it, she says, Is it true you inhale your food? Oh, is that for you or for me? Because I think that's kind of applies to me too. Um, I think she means, like, is it true that I, like, swallow my food whole? Uh -huh. I eat my food so fast, it's like I'm breathing. I have, like, a very, very fast metabolism, especially if it's food that I really, really like eating, mm -hmm. or I'm just really, really hungry. Oh. So <laughs> if I'm really, really hungry, then I, like, Scarf down that food in like five minutes, or five minutes or less. Dang, I think it's kind of true for me too, because like I've I've had this habit since I was a kid. I like um I eat my food really fast, so I get to get to like watch TV, video games, and do whatever I want that's not eating. So I just like I just eat, and then I get it over with, and just do whatever I want later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been kind of like a bit of a rumor or like a legend or something. Like basically, every time Padong like eats out. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Every time we eat out, um, they would see me take a bite, then they look away, then they look back, and the food's gone. gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. Uh, it's like, I can do it. It's just like the sweat on my forearms are making me slip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait for the next one? Yep. All right. I hope so. All right, Steven, so what is our ah! next our next exercise? All right, for the next one, we're going to use the barbells. Oh! Alright, so this is pretty interesting. We're gonna be using this next. So what we're gonna do with these, we're gonna do squats with them. Oh, okay. Awesome. That I can do. Alright, we'll try to do like um, as, just as many as we can with, with for every question. Okay. Alright, three, two, one, go. Alright, so Selena's next question is top five workout songs. 
Ooh, top five workout songs. Um, basically, anything high intensity. Mm -hmm. Like, I like to dance to songs that I'm like practicing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing two things at once. Right, right. So I'm like working out and I'll be like memorizing the choreo at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like rehearsing it in your head and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I would listen to like basically fast paced or hard hitting songs. Kind of like uh, Black on Black or mm -hmm. even though they're like club songs, I like Bumbaya or Not Today, mm -hmm. Idol, like very fast. Anticipating songs. Yeah, it's like as long as the beat hits hard, mm -hmm. it'll be good. Very motivating. Got you. Thing for me, Miro is definitely up there. Victory Song by Stray Kids, that's up there. Um, I put in Rising Sun by, T by DBSK a long, uh, long time ago. Oh, nice. Like when you hear like, Rising! <laughs> like that just like really gets the blood pumping, just like get, getting right to like own the world. Another one is 119 Remix by J Park. It's like a 20 minute mixtape of just like a bunch of like uh, K hip hop rappers. Um, I've also been listening to Adios by Everglow. Oh, nice. And lastly, Empire Kid by ATs. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I also been listening to a lot of ATs songs too. Ooh, I had a feeling that you'd like them. <laughs> Mostly because it's because of you guys. You guys, but I've been introducing me to a lot of like latest and recent songs. I've been stuck in like first or second gen of K pop. Mm. So because of Padang, that I'm getting caught up with everything. That's good though. Oh, yeah, just so you guys know, Steven is one of the original members of Padang. And like, um, you said your bias group was Xinhua, right? Yes. I think you're like the first Xinhua um, bias that I, um, I've ever met before. So I feel like that's pretty awesome. Cool. Nice. <sighs> All right, ready to sleep, right? Yep. All right. <sighs> okay, that, the squat, I can definitely do. <laughs> so like, next one, we'll do one more squat. The next one, we're gonna do um, arm curls. Okay. One leg. Oh, okay. That's cool. And we're looking for each side. Oh, okay. one side and the other side. Okay. Okay. And just as many as we can then? Yeah, as many as we can. Alright, sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah. One more time, last time. Let's do this! Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Alright, next, next question, same person. Uh, favorite workout or favorite part of the body to train? My favorite workout, I'm not sure it's my favorite, but it's the one that I do every single day, mm -hmm. is um, like crunches, or like modified crunches. Uh -huh. Where I like, um, scoop myself, like scoop my upper body mm -hmm. and my legs, in at the same time. And I do that every time, uh, every morning whenever I wake up and every night before I sleep. Ooh, dang, that's intense. Uh, do you have a favorite part of your body to train? Probably my core. Ah. Because I, um, when I was a kid, I was like really, really chubby. Mm -hmm. I'm same here. Work. Same here. <laughs> and I did not work out at all until my martial arts class, like I told you before. Right, right. And ever since then, I've been working out every single day, non stop. Dedication right there. Because of that, it's all, um, I got really, really fit, and my my stomach area, my core is like, yeah, you look great. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I wish I was like shredded with an eight pack like Stephen is. I wouldn't go that far. I don't know. Keep <laughs> saying that. Is it possible for like a person to get an eight pack, or does it just stop at six? Um, I would suggest to stop at six because eight pack you had to go like on a very, very, very strict diet. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That's like um, like modeling or like like bodybuilding like workout. Yeah, I don't even think any K-pop idols have eight packs. I think it just stops at six with like Kai. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for me, my favorite part of me to train is definitely my arms. I find myself like staying at the arms a, a lot longer than I should. Bill taught me how to bench like a couple of days ago, so. Shout out to you, my bro. <laughs> and favorite workout? I would probably say like anything that has to do with like um, legs or involving the legs. So like kind of like what we're doing right now, like squats or like when you're at the rec center, like the, the leg press station. Mm -hmm. I would probably say those are um, my favorite workouts. <sighs> okay, ready? Stop. Yep. All right. Yeah. <sighs> That is it for the Instagram questions. Now we're gonna be moving on to the YouTube community tab questions. Okay. So for the people that have left uh, questions on Instagram, thank you so much. Keep them coming for like all the projects to come. And so now we're gonna be moving on to the community tab questions. All right, so I would we'll like to explain our next workout again. So the next one, we're gonna do arm curls, but with one leg at a time. So we're gonna pick these up, center our arm bell, do it one leg, and we're just gonna curl our arms. Okay, this is a long question, so I'll okay, ask yeah. the question first and then look at it because okay. I can't do it with my phone in my hand. <laughs> so Human Cat asks, how is it being the cameraman? Uh, what songs can you dance to? 
how often do you work out in a week? Has Parang changed any since you've joined? And what are your favorite songs and artists? And what groups do you stand? Who are your biases? Ooh. That's a lot to unpack right there. <laughs> so I guess we'll start with um, how is it like being our cameraman? Three, two, one. I love being our cameraman. Even though I'm not as in many cover as I could because I'm like really, really busy outside of Parang, I still love being a part of it. Just doing the camera work, making sure everybody in the shot and the cover looks good, mm -hmm. and making sure that um, our covers like look great on the video. It's like a new perspective. Like, um, like I never thought I would like have so much fun being the cameraman. And um, I work out every single day from the moment I wake up to before I sleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lesson of determination, kiddos. <laughs> and has Parang changed since you joined? So like since you're like one of the OG members, yeah. like, I guess like a better question would be like, how has the team evolved over these past few years? The team, the team has evolved so, so much. We have so many new members now. We're getting well known in our community and we're getting like invites to perform everywhere from here to SF and an auditioning in dance groups um, in LA and also the members. We get so many different members for like each gen and we love every single one of them. We had like our ups and downs in the past because we were still adjusting, mm -hmm. like we were still getting started. So we like, uh, we didn't know how to handle like certain situations. Right, right. But as the team grew up, we stayed together, we stayed strong and we thought, we only, the only thing we thought was each other. And that's what I love about this group. The dancing is great, our K-pop, our love for K-pop is great. But the most important thing is the numbers. Make sure that everybody in this group has a great time. Dang, such wholesome content, guys. <laughs> <laughs> For my bias group is Shenhua, and it's hard for me to like um, choose like my favorite member. Like every time somebody asks me who my favorite member in Shenhua was, mm -hmm. it's hard for me to choose because I see them all as one group. I don't see them all like individually. That's a fair way of looking at it. <laughs> so I, I grew up watching these guys, and it was it's hard for me to like. Um, like single out any single one of them because they're all great in their own way. Yeah, they're all great in their own way and they can't work without the other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I had to choose a favorite, it's just Shinwa one. Very respectful answer. Uh, let's take a little break before we keep going. Yeah. My <laughs> like, like I was like almost trying to lose my balance. I was like tipping over this way. <laughs> I could feel like this tendon like right here where my um where my foot and my leg connect like start to give way. Like, oh! <laughs> yeah. How am I faring compared to everyone else that you bring to the rec center with you? Um, <laughs> you don't complain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next leg then, right? Yeah, like next leg. Alright, so three, two, one. Alright, so this next question comes from Onion Farm Fam. Um, how did you guys meet? Uh, Parang? Um, or like each other? Like, um, each meet? other, I'm assuming. Okay. Or we just answer both. Uh, yeah, that okay. works. Um, I first met you um, way back, like when you were a freshman. Mm. When um, I just know like you were like like always around like, watching K-pop on your uh, laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I always walk around and see you like watching um, K-pop and say, "Oh, hey, you're a K-pop fan." Nice. Then eventually, um, somebody introduced you into the group. Uh, you weren't you weren't a part of like uh, Parang at the time. No, I was a free agent at the time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I, I can't remember who. Um, I think it was Amandeep. I think so. Was somebody with the same class as you? Yeah, yeah, I had um, class with Amandeep in freshman year too. Okay. I think it was music appreciation or something like that, or dance appreciation, one of the two. But yeah, somebody like introduced you like um, to the group, and then we started sitting, we all started sitting together, and we started like sharing our biases and like all our K-pop news, and yeah, and we grew, and we grew from there. Yeah. History is history. Um, like a little funny story is that um, I met all of Parang thanks to one specific member, Amandeep. Um, I had a class with her in my freshman year, and I think it was her birthday at this one point of the semester. So I used that as an excuse to walk up to Parang and introduce myself to everybody um, because we all like get a table at the student union, and I I always pass them, and I'm, I was always so shy to say hello because like these are people who I watched on YouTube for like about like two years prior, and like. Oh my gosh, it's actually them. I'm passing by them, but I had no idea what to say. So, whoa! I used Amadeus' birthday as an excuse to talk to everyone. <laughs> uh, we met Steven. He's one of the most humble, most loyal people I ever met, honestly. Like, open up a dictionary, look up loyal, see a picture of this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, it's like a compliment battle now. <laughs> I left my foot down too early. Um, and just for like, just a quick 
part but like dancing the other part. I was introduced to Parang through like um uh, we didn't we never had audition uh, at the time, we just had like scouting. Mm -hmm. So we would have like dance workshops and the people who were starting uh, Parang would scout out people um, who were like able to keep up with the dance and like able to like adapt or if they made a mistake be able to like um you know boss still keep going. Mm -hmm. And I was introduced because of such a body. <laughs> Which is uh, if you like, if you check out the the Parang channel, YouTube channel, and you watch Touch My Body workshop, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, those are the times. Those are the days. <laughs> not my not my proudest moment, but still, that's it's how I got in here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We all had our cringy moments in the past, and that happens to be one of them. Okay. <laughs> um, I do have one other workout. We're gonna be the medicine ball. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can get it really really quick. Yeah. All right. All right. So the next workout can just I can be on the floor again. Ball. I, I think I recognize this. Do we have to like yeah, make sure we like squeeze each other? We're gonna hook our legs together, like down here. Oh! And we're just gonna pass. We do the sit up. We're gonna pass it all each other. Uh huh. Do I have to do the sit up at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. All right. So this is gonna be a challenge because my abs are absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> so this next question comes from. Daryl, and he's asking, what's your favorite anime? How did you get into K-pop? Do you have a favorite cover? And do you have a favorite cover you filmed? All right, ready? Okay. And go. Ah! Ah! Uh, my favorite anime? <laughs> my Hero Academia. Ooh! <laughs> because it's coming back. Oh yeah! I got into K-pop with a music video called Yo! by Shinhua. Ooh! And I got into it because I... First thought it was a drama because at the time that's how all music videos were filmed at the time. Uh huh. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I remember those days. The ten minute music videos. <laughs> yeah. I like the songs so much that I started looking them up on YouTube. Uh huh. And that's where I found um the uh, found the one variety shows. Oh, like old school variety shows like Heroin Five, mm -hmm. Love Letter, X Men. Oh, like um like all my school. Yeah. And Star Golden Bell. <sighs> That's how I also got found out by other K-pop groups too, like Super Junior, uh -huh. DSK, and Girls Generation back when they first debuted too. Oh, those were the days! Like, um, Beast and M Black too. Yep. Ooh. Um, what was the next one? And the next one is my favorite, uh, favorite cover. cover. Call Me Baby and Monster X Drama Rama. Ooh, Call Me Baby was the first um, cover that I've seen from Paran. Nice. <laughs> okay, and then my, my favorite, favorite cover that you ever filmed. Favorite cover to Film. Uh, <laughs> probably regular by NCT. Oh yeah, that was my favorite cover too. That was one of those um, rare uh, films where we had to film on two days, uh -huh. and we had to like do like um, like camera like camera sway or camera switches mm -hmm. because we were filming on two different days, but we had to like connect them both. Oh wait, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, here we go. Uh, would you ever consider doing that type of filming again? Oh, I, I, I love doing those kind of films. As for variety, just a matter of time and when, right? Alright. Ah! Fire! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I feel like my spirit leaving me. <laughs> Mama! Last question. This next question comes from Joy, and she asks What are some ways you guys have influenced each other after meeting? Ready to get going? Wait. <laughs> we still have practice after this too. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's 6.44 right now. Okay. Let's go. Alright, ready? Go. And go. Yeah. You helped influence me to be very optimistic. No matter how hard the situation gets. Even though I went through some like uh, physical times like any group would, mm -hmm. I know that you always look on the right side of everything, no matter how hard the situation gets. Aww. And there are like uh, moments where we have like difficulties going getting through. Like I said before, we've always looked out to each other, and you've always been very outspoken about it. And that's what I love about it. Oh, huh? Oh, shoot! No! <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, you're, you very, you're very outspoken, <sighs> making sure that everybody is good and safe. I always try my best to look out for everyone here because uh -huh. everyone in Tarang is like my second family. I would hate it if. Uh, if anyone in the team would be would get hurt, knowing that I could have done something about it, you know, just in general, like I just want to be there for everyone, especially like um, people like you, like Karen, like Hannah, and Cheetah, and Emily, and everyone. Uh, oh God! Uh, 
I, I didn't think it's more I just like, I say I finish your thoughts. Yeah, like, I just like feel like everyone in the, this team is, is just my family. I just want to look out for everyone. And one thing that I've learned from you, Steven, is that like, you're never too old to like, pursue like your dreams and your passions. And my dreams and my passions are like, doing things with this team, like doing dance covers, getting to know each other better, welcoming all the new kids that are coming through with each generation. All that I got from you, to be completely honest, and yeah. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, I had like a very like weird concoction of feelings of both like fire in my abs and like ooh-woos in my heart right now. Like, <laughs> ah, this is weird. <laughs> 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 We did it! Yeah. Please tell me that, was, that really was the last question. Yeah, that was the last okay. question. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Whew, that was good. Yeah. But like, oh my gosh. Like, so this is what it's like to work out with a famous Steven. All right, so that does it for this Q&A session, everyone. So yeah, round of applause for that. Steven, you want to say any um, last minute words to both either me or to the nice people are watching at our home? First of all, thank you so much for this opportunity for having a Q&A with me and with Katrina uh, days before and also other uh, Parang members uh, that's coming up soon, so I hope you guys check it out. And also, thank you all again for all these questions, they were really, really helpful and they were very informative. It allows, me to, allows both of us to rethink about our, like, our passion and our thoughts and it, really, it was really, really helpful. It'll have us to relive and uh, remember all the, the reasons of why we do and, what, and why we love them so much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much again for doing this with me, Stephen. I really appreciate you taking time for this. Um, and shout out to um, all of our coordinators who are practicing in the other room for allowing us to take time out of practice to film this. Yeah, guys, uh, really hope you guys enjoyed our workout Q&A. Hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. But also, stay tuned to both the community tab here on the SYJ official and my stories on Instagram to see who our next special guest is and to leave all of your questions for the next Q&A. All right, so I think with that, I think it's, this is a good place to end it. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. But as always, that is my time. My name is Nathan, SYJ Official. This is Steven. And guys, until then, see you guys next time. Bye. Reach for the camera because I'm too far away. <laughs>